But we had seven days a week, 2,024 years since Christ died and rose from the dead on the third day according to the scriptures. The sun stopped shining. Time is controlled by the sun, but God created the sun. And the sun stopped shining when they crucified Christ on the cross. From 12 o'clock to 3 o'clock is recorded in Matthew, Mark, and Luke, and John. That the sun stopped shining for three hours, the whole world went into darkness. And about 3 o'clock, Jesus shouted with a loud voice, Eli, Eli, lama sepakani, that is, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Then Christ cried out again with a loud voice and yielded up his spirit. Then he heard the bell and the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. The earth shook, the rock was split, the graves were opened, and many bodies of the saints who died grace. And coming out of their graves after his resurrection, they went into the holy city and appeared to many people. As I was asking you the question, when you die, would you rise from the dead? Would you go to heaven or hell? Where are you going to go when you, when you die? Because you have no control over your life or when you die. But I tell you, who has the power and control of everything? His name is Jesus Christ. He has defeated death, hell, and the grave. He's defeated the devil. He's overcame the world for us. He has destroyed the works of the devil. He's seated at the right hand of God the Father. And he said to me, why should the devil of that day? He said, all the fire has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Go therefore and preach the gospel to every creature. And that's why I'm here today. Because I know my Lord Jesus Christ has commanded me to go to all the world and preach the gospel to every creature, every person. Samoa, Tonga, Fiji, Tonga, Chinese, Indian, Indonesian, whoever. Whether you believe in God or don't believe in God, you are the most important person to God. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that if you believe in him, whoever shall believe in him will not perish, will not go to hell, but go to heaven. You know that to enter the kingdom of God is not joining a church. Jesus said you must be born again. You know, entering the kingdom of God, the kingdom is not a kingdom. The kingdom of God, Jesus, is by birth. It's not by keeping the law, it's not by giving your money, it's not by joining a religion, it's not having some sort of dress, the way you dress, or having a beard, or having a, a nice clothes. But how do you enter the kingdom of God? Jesus said, you must be born again. And Nicodemus said, how can a man Say his mother's womb when he's old. He cannot fill in there. But Jesus said you must be born from above. For as many as received him, to them he gave him the power to receive, to be sons of God, to be the children of God. Those who were born not of the flesh, not of the will of man, but of God, he must be born. Of God, he must accept Jesus Christ. As your Lord and Savior, for as many as receive Him, Christ, as their Lord and Savior. That's how you enter the kingdom of God. It's by birth. It's not by money. It's not by registration in a religion or an organization or denomination. It's not by joining a church or having that. That is a good thing to do. But it's not going to get you in the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God, Jesus said, you must be born again. There must be a repentance, confession of your sins. And asking them, must humble yourself under the mighty hand of God. And call upon the grace of God for the sacrifice of Jesus Christ. That you can be saved. The blood of Jesus can wash your sins away. Jesus said, what can a man offer for his soul? What can a man pay for the salvation of his soul? What can you pay to save your soul from the judgment of God, from the lake of fire, from hell? When you die, would you 
you rise from the dead when you die. I have never seen anybody rise from the dead when they die. But it's recorded in the historical fact that only one man had to see the death, and that is Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And that's why I believe in him. He is the resurrection and the life. Jesus said, if you eat of my body and drink of my blood, you will have eternal life. And I will raise you from the dead. Today is an opportunity for you to believe in the truth. There's an opportunity for you to be saved from going to hell. Be saved from the eternal fire, from the lake of fire, which appears for eternity. See, the judgment of God is eternal. The salvation of God is eternal as well. We're in heaven, the joy, the unspeakable joy. Today is the day of salvation. Today is the day that you can be saved before it's too late. Before you die, would you rise from the dead when you die? I've never seen anybody rise from the dead. It's not recorded in historical fact that anybody else has risen from the dead. There's only one fact. Only one man has recorded a voice from the dead. His name is Jesus Christ. His name is above every name. The Bible said, Let this mind be in you, which is also in Christ Jesus, who be in the form of God, do not consider Robbie to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation, taking the form of a bond servant, and coming to the likeness of me, and be found in the appearance of a man. He humbled himself, became obedient to the point of death, even the death on the cross. Therefore, God the Father, Lord. praise the Lord, has given him the name, praise the Father in his name, that at the name of Jesus Christ, every knee shall bow, of those in heaven, of those on the earth, and those on the earth, and every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord of Lords, the King of Kings, the mighty Savior, the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last, who is and was, who is to come, the Almighty God, hallelujah, to the glory of God the Father, somebody shout hallelujah! I know the angels are shouting hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> Praise the Lord! But I may encourage you, there is hope in Christ. There is God's plan for your life. It doesn't matter how deep you are in sin. When you turn to God, His response is always to embrace you, to love you, to take care of you, to bring you from the pit of hell into heaven. Because you know, we all have sin. I'm a sinner just like you. You know, when you die in Christ, you'll go straight to heaven. Guaranteed. There's no waiting around. Because when you accept Jesus, you are no longer guilty. The price of your sins has been paid for. The price of the sins of the world has been paid by 
the cross of Jesus Christ. So today is the day of salvation. Today is the day of belief. Today is the day that you can believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and be saved. And you can, there's no cost in this. You don't have to give money. You, can, you don't have to fill in an application form. You don't have to dial a number. All you can do is call upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You can say, Lord Jesus, I believe with my heart. I believe in my heart. That you're the Son of God. That you're the Son of God. The only way to God. The only way to God. I believe you died for my sin. I believe you died for my you sin. You rose from the dead for my justification. You rose from the dead for my justification. Forgive my sins. Forgive my sins. Save my soul. Save my soul. Change my heart. Change my heart. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. Make me born again. Make me born again. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. I am forgiven. I am forgiven. And through your sacrifice. Free. I am redeemed. I am redeemed. I am accepted by God. I am accepted by God. I am justified. I am purified. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. God bless you. Have a good day. Amen. Amen.